Am I the asshole for divorcing my wife because she lied about her fertility? Yes, because you deleted your uh, 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 Reddit account. You must be guilty of being an asshole. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Usually when you delete it, statistics <laughs> say 60% of the time, all the time, every, all the time, time. <laughs> they're an asshole if they delete their shit. Uh, all right. So I 38 male have been with my wife, Natalie, 37 female for eight years, married for four years. Time out. Is that car? Oh, no, sorry. Is that uh, oh, Ringo that's Ringo. or is that? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're, the Ringo's they back. Look the same. They do I'm sorry, look very I'm similar. <laughs> Artie has so Artie not fallen for the trap yet. <laughs> Artie's Ringo. much smaller though, right? She is a little bit smaller, yeah. Oh they, my they, god. They, Artie's also a little bit more brown, but it's hard to tell on camera. Mm. I'm so distracted. <laughs> there you go. You guys get Ringo back. Awesome. Nice. It's been nice. a while, Ringo. I'm going to earn that keep. <laughs> yeah, she's like, <laughs> I need my I need the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So 38 male, 37 female, Natalie, they've been married for eight or married for four years, been together for eight years. Yeah. Natalie has a daughter from a previous relationship, Kaya, uh, 12 female. Kaya's dad left when she was a newborn. We have no idea where he is. And I love her as if she was mine. She calls me dad and we have a great relationship. I told Natalie from the beginning that I would like to have biological children. And she said she is open to have more children. After we got married, we bought a nice place and try, started trying for a baby. After a year, we did some testing and it all came back normal. My wife said IVF would be too costly and hard on her body. body. I was secretly devastated, but I decided to come with terms with the fact that I'll never have any biological kids. This was until a few days ago when I found out from Natalie's sister that Natalie lied to me. She and her sister got into a fight in her house and her sister screamed, quote, at least I don't take pills behind my husband's back and claim to be infertile, uh, infertile. Does he know you had an abortion? End quote. Oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. kind of, that's divorce. Yeah. Yeah. My wife kicked her sister out and started crying, saying she really didn't want another kid and didn't want to lose me. I can't believe she lied to me instead of talking to me. I just left. I've been staying at my parents' house since then. Uh, Natalie begs me to come back, and she says we can try for a baby. Kai even messaged me to come back. My parents think I should just move on and give her another chance. She made a mistake, and she apologized. Uh, but am I the asshole for wanting divorce for this lie? That's a pretty big lie. Yeah. That is that's a, a big lie. big lie. Uh, I mean, it is. he does add on a few things here. Uh, yeah, go for it. Just full context. Yeah. Uh, added... I live in Canada. I'm pro-choice. I do believe women have control over their own bodies. Don't lecture me about her rights, but this is a different case. She lied to me. I had no idea she was against having more babies until a few days ago. Uh, the abortion happened one and a half years after our wedding. Okay. So, you know, of course they had the communication uh, prior, like he wants to be a biological, he wants to have kids biologically. She agreed, you know, like, Sometimes things change where, you know, they, one partner no longer, uh, is up to it after being up to it before. Uh, so, I mean, that's allowed, but also if that were the case, like bring fucking it up and talk about it. Yeah. Fucking talk Immediately. about it. You know what I'm saying? Like Immediately. as soon as you know, yeah. like, cause before y'all got married, that was something that was, you know, a conversation that was had. Uh, so, you know, partners have certain expectations, I guess. So like, you know, as soon as, you know, you're feeling like maybe I don't want that. That's when you got to be like, hey, like, you know, I thought about it. If we, you know, need to separate, you know, do our thing, then that is what it is. But like, I just don't want to have kids. Yeah. But to fucking just go through like actual legitimate like testing uh, to fucking yeah, to lie to him like that. To have sex, to lie to his like, face. Because like, you know, for some people trying to have kids. Uh, you know, is it's hard it, enough as it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it becomes uh work. You know, it's not like it's not making love. It's not like sex or whatever. It's just you know, like let's fucking get it. Let's have let's make a baby. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so, yeah. so you know, that could be a stressful situation. So their situation could have been stressful. I don't know, but I'm just saying, like she added so many steps when she could have just been like from the get go, like hey, yeah, um, my mind is changed. So if we need to split, we need to split. 
before, you know, my daughter gets even closer before, you know, we grow in our relationship. Like it's just the fundamental thing that has to be talked about. Yeah. It, it, so, you know, I, I think divorce is definitely like valid. This is a surprise deleted account when you're right. type of deal. <laughs> and it's true. Yeah. I, I, from what I could tell, cause he did write an update that doesn't really add too much context. So I didn't really include it here. Uh, you're more than welcome to go read it afterwards. The, the link will be in the description. Um, it sounded like a lot of people were harassing him about the women's rights thing, which I don't think he has any issue with. It doesn't pertain with. to this, yes. Yeah, it has nothing to do. Uh, I get it's a hot button topic. And uh, yeah, women absolutely should have control over their own body and pro-choice. Uh, this is a completely different I, scenario. I don't know. Maybe we're wrong, but I did not get that vibe at all. Uh, no. If anything, I would be like, if I were to nitpick, I'd be like, what's so bad about, you know, adopting? Why is he so heavy on the biological? But that's like, if we're nitpicking here. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, but he, so, uh, to be fair, he was, he communicated and was honest and was like, I want a biological for the entire yeah. time. Yeah. So, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And we yeah, do, we, we, we do like encourage men to be more communicative about what their wants and needs. And he did exactly that. And yeah. uh, unfortunately his partner lied to him straight up and did all these different test things put a dog and pony show only to find out like she's been lying to him the whole time. And that's like, he has all the right in the world to get away from this relationship. Two and a half years of lies. The yeah. points are where like they almost did IVF. Well, it was four years technically. Oh, he, I thought he said a year been... and a half after oh, their yeah. marriage. Uh, that was when the abortion happened. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I thought yeah, you meant yeah. the like the entire trying for a kid. We don't oh, have no, no idea no, no, when yeah. that started, but mm. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, not the asshole at all. Uh, There's such a shitty thing to do to someone. Um, mm -hmm. like, like you guys said, like you said, Sean, if she ever changed her mind or, uh, you know, didn't want to do it, she's absolutely supposed to just communicate that to her partner. I have the feeling that, you know, maybe if she did communicate it, he would have been open to adoption or something like that. And, and they could have gone that route, but she didn't even lay down a path to even like look at other directions. She was just like, no, I'm going to lie to him and uh, lead him on yeah. until he's just defeated, uh, which is shitty. So Reddit deemed not the asshole impacts uh, commented, not the asshole. There's nothing wrong with not wanting kids. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have more kids. There's nothing wrong with changing your mind about wanting or not wanting kids. This is not any of that. This is about the fact that your partner chose over and over again to lie to you, to allow you mm -hmm. to dream about a future she knew you wouldn't have with her. She lied, betrayed, and misled you for years. Even if she did a 180 and honestly wanted kids now, is it really someone you would want to stay with, to co-parent with, to be a mother of your child? And I think that is an excellent summary of... I feel bad for the kid, though. That fucking oh, sucks. Yes. Same. Yeah. That's, that's true. The, how, how old is the daughter? Eight? Uh, she's 12. They're 12. pretty young, yeah. I mean, yeah. almost pretty much her whole life, probably all that she can remember. From yeah. four till now. Yeah. That fucking sucks. That's tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I hope he stays in her life at least. Um, and like they co-parent her. Yeah. Because he does have a certain responsibility now uh, after so many years. So, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, there's an update. I'm pretty sure they're getting a divorce from the sounds of that. But it, 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 when he updated, it wasn't even concrete on that. So. In therapy.